Oh my god. How do I be this? Like an old man. There's stuff that fell in there. I don't. Then take it out. It's okay. So, like, you, well, I didn't want it to start brewing. Well, it's... It doesn't just happen. It's to like okay, well, heat no. up the no. water. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys? Trey here. About to make a video with my buddy, Jail. What are we doing today, man? Uh, we're gonna convert a closet into a pantry. Okay. So we have some space for our goods and food and stuff like that. All right, well, where's the pantry at? Let's see. So this is a kind of a pointless closet that we're gonna convert into a pantry. Okay. A shelf here. And here. That sounds fun. <laughs> So this is gonna be one of the mini videos that we do for house projects. Uh, Jacob just recently moved into the house and there's a lot of projects that he wants to get done. So we'll be at this location and at my house. Let's go take a look at some of the stuff we need. So I'm gonna put the all the supplies, the tools that we use in the description down below. Make sure you guys look at it. Like I said, it's a simple task, but sometimes it can be hard if you don't know what to do. All right, so this is some of the uh, tools and hardware you're gonna need. Uh, just some of the basics here. I got a flashlight because the lighting isn't that good and it's important to see. Next thing you're gonna want is a good level. All right, you can use your ears, but it's that's- It's not a level. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you guys have a level. It's very important. You I definitely need a level. You wanna make sure your shelves are level and not all wonky, okay? Another really important thing is a stud finder. A good stud finder. I already found you, you <laughs> stud. <laughs> I guess I'm a stud. The next thing we're gonna want is a tape measure, but uh, already pre-measured everything. Kinda, I don't know. <laughs> and this is a pencil. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's a pencil, guys. So just understand, you'll need, need one of those. Yeah. And then we're gonna have a drill. I have a 18 volt Ryobi. It's one of my favorites. It's a lithium battery powered. It doesn't quit until it clicks. Wow, sounds like an ad. Uh, I got a Phillips head of a <laughs> We're gonna use three inch screws. Uh, these are gonna be pretty strong. I'm gonna do two on each stud. To drive them, we're gonna use a Phillips head, obviously. And I'm gonna pre-drill them with this drill bit. Now, I got a Ryobi drill here. This is actually a saw, not a drill. <laughs> you can use this kind of saw. There's any kind of saw you wanna use to cut, but this is gonna be the easiest, the quickest. You can use a handsaw, honestly, if you want to. It's gonna take a lot longer and it's not gonna be a straight. This definitely will get the job done. Yeah. So uh, for the supplies, I got, uh, we're doing two shelves, right? We talked about earlier in Menards that we could do either like plywood and you can sand it and paint it, or, but I bought this for $19, just 10 bucks more. Uh, it's a 10 foot. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought uh, a 10 foot, that's not 10 foot. <laughs> what I did was I bought just a seven foot board one of these and I'm gonna cut 34 inch lengths on it. Yeah. For the support, I went ahead and bought a 14 foot uh, section of 2x4, and the closet's going to be 34 inches by 23 and a half inches. So what I did was I cut 34 inch lengths. And since a two by four is 1.5 inches thick, we're gonna do 22 inch uh, sections. So 22 inch sections and 34 inch sections. Ready? Not this close. <laughs> Start drilling. No, no, Come I'm on. just holding it like that. Drill it. So I just pre-drilled some of the holes, found my studs, and I'm gonna screw them in. Here. Oh yeah! Good job. You moved it. 
by drilling down. You were on that side. So we have the first one drilled in. Now we're just gonna do each side to give it some stabilization. All right, so shelf number one is done. Tell them about it. <laughs> so uh, we ran into a couple problems. Um, I only have one stud here, and I have a stud here and then over here. So hopefully this works. <laughs> oh yeah, hopefully guys, hopefully. Same thing here, I only had one stud here, here, and here. Directly in the corner, so that makes it really difficult. If I have two screws here, three inches, they should be good for up to 50 pounds. We'll see. Six inches between each shelf, so that's plenty of room. That's about 20 inches, though. <laughs> he likes to make up numbers if he doesn't know what he's talking about. So we have the base of the shelves in, and they came out pretty well. And we are all done. It looks really good. Everything fit. Everything was done very well. Jacob did a great job measuring. All right, thank you guys for watching. We bought cut me. Appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Me and Jacob have plenty of projects left to do. Remember, if you like the video, like and subscribe. Thank you.